Hi there, this is Carlos Del Junco at harmonicapractice.com and uh, we're here in a series of videos about transcribing to memory and this time uh, in video number three we're talking about um, just the use of a few basic key commands to navigate around the audio spectrum of within transcribe. Um, it'll just help you get to where you want to be in terms of being a better player way more efficiently and there's only a few that, you, that are totally useful and and actually much better than fumbling with your mouth. You'll see in a second why. Um, and so what I've done is I've, uh, some of them come with the program and some of them are um, I made up uh, that are fairly intuitive. And here's a list of them right here. Um, these are the most, uh, as it says here, these are the most popular key commands you will use. Um, and you can uh, uh, see the ones that I've highlighted in purple um spacebar is the one by default that just plays stops starts and stops the audio um this little parenthesis thing here um which is on uh here uh, i'll show you um i'm hitting next to the o and the p on your computer keyboard if i'm hitting the one that's ne next to the slash the sort of the parenthesis kind of pointing towards the right you can see that i'm advancing through each marker and if I hit the one next to the P, I'm going towards the left. And that's fairly intuitive to use. And it's really super handy because when you want to start right on the beat, you if you sort of fumble with your mouse and you're, you, you sometimes you miss and depending, um, you know. So it's just a really good habit to do. It gets, gets, to where, gets you where you want to be faster. Um, right there, even if you knew that one, um, that's going to be huge. Um, and if you take a lesson with me, I will, you can, I can export my key commands and email them to you. You can import them super easily. I'll send you this little text file and, um, Bob's your uncle. Um, and then by default, the number one is for terms of speed here is a hundred percent. Two is 50%. Three is almost um, a third, about 35%. Four, you'll hardly ever have to slow it down to 25% unless it's some uber, uber fast jazz fusion lick. But it does come in handy sometimes. Um, and then what I programmed myself, those ones are there by default. I programmed the nine and the zero. Um, and again, above the zero, you'll see a little parenthesis kind of pointing towards the right. And on the nine, you'll see a little parenthesis above the nine pointing this way. So I've done them to go up in increments of 10%. So here we are at 25% speed, and we're going to go up in increments of 10%. And the program will play faster than 100% up to 200% speed, which... You know, if you want to really get something and nail something to see how well you know it, you can do it faster than the Solus was doing it. You're probably not going to do that that often, but it does come in handy. Um, the other ones, uh, in the last video, video two, we were, we were creating markers, and that is here done really easily. You can see here S, M, and B um, to create your markers. Um, and you can see up here, New section marker S, new measure marker M, B. One thing that you, you can, that you should know, and um, I put in as a, or to erase a marker if you accidentally create one. If I, let's say I put in that marker, I don't want it. I just highlight it with my mouse, click and drag, press the letter E, and it asks me if I want to delete one marker. Okay, you know, if I, I want you to if I, me, you know, I can, so erase a bunch of markers at the same time. So that's that's pretty straightforward. Um, and the other thing is here, you can move markers by clicking and dragging them literally. So if I create a marker here, I can drag it anywhere I want. You know, if I don't have it in the right spot, again, you know, depending on the downbeat of the of the thing that you want to uh, put your marker on, you could expand the view. Um, by the way, to do that here, Command F and Command G are super important, uh, and I'm going to show that right now. Um, it's Control F and Control G in a PC, but what they do is it just expands the view. Control G shows you the whole view of the song, 
And if I want to expand that view and I press Command F again, Control F on a PC. So let's say again, I want to move that marker because I want to put it on the downbeat of the guitar player right there. There it is. So that's that's pretty straight ahead. Um, the only other ones that are really handy to use, and I don't even have them highlighted because you're not probably going to use them as often. And let's say there's a you know a phrase that you want to learn. You see, if you look at your keyboard, you'll see four letters H, J, K, and L next to each other. K and L on one side expand the view, create a loop to the right. L expands the view like this, and K right next to it deselects what I just selected. Now on the opposite side of that are H and J. If I press H, it expands to the left and J collapses from the left. So that's pretty intuitive. And I created those markers. They come in real handy for sometimes working. Let's see what this sounds like. Now. So if I wanted to, you know, maybe put that on a loop, continuous loop. That's that actually makes musical sense. I haven't worked on this yet, so. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Let, let me get into it when we get into the next video of the art of transcribing how to do all of this stuff but that you can see how that could be handy so that in a nutshell is how you use um, some basic key commands that help you just get to where you want to be a lot faster um, join me in the uh, next video video number four where we actually glue this stuff together how to work work through the solo chunk by chunk and then glue it together uh, there's a pretty cool thing which I'm really excited to share and uh, we'll learn that in the next video. All right, see you soon.